गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेशन फाइव फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ नीट फिजिक्स पार्ट टू द टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक इक्विब्रियम एंड आई टेक इन वन क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस सेशन विच वॉज आस्ट इन द नीट एग्जामिनेशन इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो द क्वेश्चन इयर इज टू पेट बॉल्स कैन इक्वल चार्जेस आर सस्पेंडेड फॉर्म अ कॉमन पॉइंट एज शोन इन द फिगर वन एंड टू सो दिस इज द कॉमन पॉइंट and uh, these uh, two pit balls are suspended by in ex uh, in extensible and massless string masses mean that the mass of these strings are negligible and the equilibrium separation between two uh, pit balls which are carrying equal charges is r in the first case uh in the second case the uh, these two uh, pit balls which i have depicted them as a and b they are connected by the same inextensible and massless strings but these strings are now clamped rigidly at this point say this point is c uh which is at half the height in comparison to the case number 1 so in the in this question we have to find the equilibrium separation r dash that is in the case number 2 when these two pit balls are clamped rigidly um oh sorry when the, these two pit balls are uh, connected by these inextensible and massless strings which uh, which are uh, clamped uh, um, rigidly at this point c which is half the height in comparison to the case number 1 so um let us take the first this uh, case number this uh, case number 1 so in the first case let i am just taking this angle theta that is this angle theta means that this string is making an angle theta with the vertical now as we know that the tension always acts away from the body so the direction of the tension will be as indicated by this arrow now i what i will be since this angle is theta so this angle will also be theta and what i will be doing is i will be um resolving this uh, tension into uh, components in that is one one will be the vertical component and one will be the horizontal component now the vertical component here this will be equal to i am just right uh, rubbing it down here this vertical component will be equal to t cos theta and this horizontal component will be equal to t sin theta so the tension which is act uh, the tension always acts away from the body first point second thing i have resolved this uh, tension into components one is the vertical component and the other one is the horizontal component if i if this angle if the string is making an angle theta with the vertical then this angle will be theta and this vertical component will be equal to t cos theta and the horizontal component will be equal to t sin theta and since these two pit balls are carrying equal charges say q i am i will be taking the charge on both these uh, two pit ball as q then there will be an electrostatic repulsive force between these two pit balls and it will be directed outward as indicated by this arrow so i'm just taking this electrostatic force as f so in the case of this electrostatic equilibrium t sin theta will be equal to the electrostatic force which is uh, given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon uh not see this is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon not if the charge on these uh, two pit balls uh, are uh, q then it will be equal to q square divided by the equilibrium separation between them is r so this will be equal to r square now here the formula this is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not epsilon not is when this entire system or this configuration of this charge or you can say this system of charge is placed in a in free space or vacuum so we are considering that this this system of charge or or you can say this uh, configuration of charge is placed in um, free space or vacuum so in this case 
this t sin theta will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q square upon r square where q is the charge on each pit ball. So this I will be taking this 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught as k which is a constant into q square upon r square. Now t cos theta this the this vertical component will be balancing the weight of the pit ball and the horizontal component that is t sin theta will be, will be balancing the electrostatic force in the case of electrostatic equilibrium. So t cos theta will be equal to mass of the ball into g. So from these two equations that is t sin theta and, uh, and this t cos theta what I will be doing is I will be getting I will divide both these two equations and I will get tan theta that is t sin theta upon uh, t cos theta this will be equal to k q square upon r square divided by mg so this will be equal to into mg now tan theta this is theta so tan theta since the uh, the length of these two strings are equal therefore let us say this is the point uh, d so tan theta will be equal to and uh, i am just taking this uh, uh, Now, this is the vertical and these two are the equal strings and this is the angle theta. So, tan theta will be equal to what? This will be equal to this, uh, this length that is uh, BD uh, divided by this uh, OD. So, tan theta will be equal to BD upon OD and this BD is equal to R by 2 and this OD is, is equal to Y. So, the, this is the first equation which I have got from the case number 1. From the case number 2, the length of the string is the same as uh, in the case number 1, but in this case, the uh, strings are clamped at half the height. So, here, now uh, in this case, this angle theta will change and let us consider this angle to be, uh, I am just taking this as alpha. So, here the, uh, the uh, this equilibrium separation is given as r dash. So here the electrostatic force will be acting in this direction. The tension as I have already told you in the case number 1. It, is, it will act away from the uh, body. So the weight of the, uh, this, uh, bo uh, this pit ball will be acting downward. And if this is angle alpha then this vertical component will be equal to t cos alpha. And this horizontal component will be equal to t sin alpha. Now T sin alpha will balance the electrostatic force. T sin alpha will balance the electrostatic force which is equal to K. K is a constant Q square divided by R dash square. And T cos alpha will be equal to M into G. So from these two, I will be getting this if I divide both these two equations, that is T sin alpha divided by T cos alpha, this will be equal to tan alpha will be equal to K Q square divided by R dash square mg. So this is the equation which I have got. This is the second equation. So I have got two equations. The first equation is tan theta is equal to k q square divided by r square mg and this is equal to r upon 2y. So this is the first equation which I have got from the case number 1. In the case number 2, the tan alpha is equal to k q square divided by r dash square mg and now tan alpha in the second case will be equal to this uh, let us say this is d and this is the point e so tan, al tan alpha will be equal to be divided by ec now be will be equal to r dash by 2 and ec ec is equal to y by 2 so this is equal to y and this, this 2 will go in the numerator. So, this is equal to R dash upon Y. So, I have got another equation. So, 
it implies that tan alpha is equal to kq square upon r dash square mg and this is equal to r dash upon y. So this is the first equation and this is the second equation. Now, from this first equation, uh, if I am just considering this one, that is kq square upon r square mg is equal to r upon 2y. So from this uh, equation, I can write that, that kq square upon mg will be equal to, uh, what I can do is this, I will be just taking this uh, r square in on the right side of this equation. So this will be um, become equal to rq upon 2y. And from this, uh, this tan alpha is equal to kq square upon r dash uh, square mg is equal to r dash upon y. So from here, I will be getting kq square upon mg. This is equal to this r dash square will be taken on the right side of this equation. This will be equal to r dash q divided upon y. So I have got these two equations now. So from here, kq square upon mg is equal to rq upon 2y and kq square upon mg is equal to r dash q upon, upon y. So what I can write it, uh, we, uh, what I can write now is rq upon 2y is equal to r dash q upon y. Okay? Because kq square upon mg is equal to rq upon 2y and kq square mg is equal to r dash q upon y. So this will be equal to this and from here y will get cancelled out. It implies that r upon 2, sorry, r cube upon 2 is equal to r dash q is equal to r dash q. So it now what I will be doing is I will multiply this equation on both sides by 1 by 3. So if I multiply the, uh, this equation by 1 by 3 on both the sides, like it, like this, 1 by, this is r cube, 1 by 3 on both the sides. So this will become r divided by 2 to the power 1 by 3 and this is equal to r dash. So the uh, equilibrium separation in the second case will be equal to r divided by 2 to the power 1 by 3. So our correct option is b. So I hope that you have understood the solution of this, uh, uh, this question. and. Uh, here the most important thing was that you have to uh, resolve this tension into two uh, components. One will be the horizontal component and the this vertical component. The horizontal component will balance the electrostatic force and the vertical component will balance the, the weight of this pit wall. So that was the first important concept. The same concept was also applied in the case number two, but here if the angle, I have taken here this angle, the, this angle theta was the angle made by the string with the vertical and here uh, the alpha was the angle made by this string with the vertical. So um, uh, what I have done is we have found the value of this tan theta first of all in the first case and then we have found the value of tan alpha in the second case and uh, then See here, this tan theta was equal to, uh, was uh, um, the value of uh, this tan theta was equal to kq square upon r square mg, which was, which was equal to r upon 2y. Similarly, we have also found the value of tan alpha, which was equal to kq square upon r dash square mg. This was equal to r dash upon y. r dash upon y. So, from uh, those uh, two equations, that is tan theta and tan alpha, we were able to get this equation and this equation. So from these two equations, we were able to find the value of the equilibrium separation r dash. And uh, so uh, I hope you have understood the solution of this uh, uh, question. And uh, in the next uh, session, that in the session number five, I will be continuing with the same chapter that is the electrostatic, uh, this electric field and uh, this electric charges and field. So till then, have a nice day. Bye.